hello friends so today i am going to be talking about web scraping and uh, how you can extract data from websites so basically what web scraping is it is uh, extracting different type of data from websites that are related to your data extractions like if you want to get uh, gather all the headings from a website that are on a single page like you can write a script that will automatically uh, view the html code of the website and then grab all the heading tags that are in the source code and give you with the data inside those heading tags so it is basically how the web scraping works so i in this video i am going to be showing you a little example that i made for web scraping so i am a big fan of anime and uh, currently i am I, I am watching one piece so uh, this is a website i mostly download my animes from and if you can see over here like we have a single download torrent download for episode 1 to 700 but after that we have to manually go and select all the select all single episodes and download them manually so like it is it is about 200 to 250 episodes that so it is gonna take a lot of time so i began testing this website like how it works and how all the episodes are loaded over here so the the first thing that what whenever you are doing want you are looking to do web scraping is just view the source code of the page and look for what you are looking for in a website like in this case i am looking for the download links like these magnet links for the torrent so let's search for one piece so over here you can see that there is the title and this is the anime description so after that we can see that there are classes that are loading the episodes automatically like over here you can see that hs bash batches is the class that loads all the episode from 1 to 700 and after that you can see then other blog that will load all the episodes over here so over here you can see that this is the blog that is lo loading all the episodes after that but there is no torrent link over here if we can see that it is not over present over here so what i did was i open up the inspect elements and went to network and i wanted to see how the if it is not loading in the source code then from where are the episode loading from so the first thought that came to my mind is like the website might be using some api which sends the request over and it will retrieve all the episodes that are on single page so i clicked on the show more option and over here in the network section we can see that a single request is generated to a api call a api parameter over here which retrieves all the episodes related to this show and it will next the it will show the episode on a single page so let's open this up in a new tab and over here you can see that it is loading the episodes from 861 to 7872 so the if we look at the parameters over here we can see that the method is get shows and the type is show like it is if you look at the site you can see that it has 
shows and seasons and uh, all other episodes so after that it is requesting a show id like which show are you looking at each show is assigned an id like one piece is 347 and other anime uh, seasons might have a different id and the last parameter over here is it is defining the page number like each page can uh, shows about 12 episodes per page so if we and the page number start from zero so zero is the late uh, the page containing the latest episodes and uh, as you increase the number the it will go, uh, show you the episodes that were released previously so now as we have an idea of how the api is working let's let's look at the source of the these uh, uh, source source code of the api return api uh, response of this api so if we go ahead and look at the source code of this response of the api we can see that there are a lot of dip tags can having class and having a different data so in what i did in this particular case was like i wanted to get the magnet link of all episodes that had a quality of 480p so what i did what i did was like i looked looked for parameters that were defining the that were there for definition of 480p quality like over here you can see that here is a div tag that contain all the download links for the episode 872 and the quality is 480p so in in the whole page what i am looking for is a div tag having a class of uh, rs link and link for it for atp so after i have the main uh, class and tag known like what i am looking for i needed to uh, get the magnet link of the torrent so you can see over here the first thing is magnet link and after that you can download the torrent and you can also do, do a drag download from upload.net and file upload and etc but what i am interested in is the magnet download link so after the div tag uh, we have a span tag and the span tag uh, contain a, contains the class name of dl type and hs magnet link so it it defines that the this tag contains all the episodes in 480p and the this this class defines that the link uh, the link you are looking for is a magnet torrent link so what i did was i wrote a sim uh, simple python script and i used uh, a a library in python which is bs4 it is it is specifically written for web scraping and get, uh, retrieving data from html source so and i also imported request which is a python module for sending web requests over to a url so what i did was i created a file and using file operations i opened the file and the main uh, web scraping starts over here from line 7 to line 14 so what i did was i created a variable index url like this is the main url which you are going to send uh, going to be sending the request to and i provided the url of my show with which i wanted to download like the api url of that show so and after that i created a variable name response and using the request for uh, request module i sent a get request to the to my base url which is the api url which is stored in index url vari variable after i have got the response it is in the html source kind of form so what i needed to do is 
like parse it into proper html tags and all that so i created a variable soup and using beautiful soup library which i have already imported over here i parse the whole response using the html parser which is provided by beautiful soap and like i defined a variable after that in the link like i am looking for the div tag that contains the class of this variable name so what i did is i ran a for loop for all div tags in the response which is passed now and it is going to find all the div tags with an attribute like in the attribute we are here defining the class of the div tag and the class of the div tag is this so it will find all the div tags containing the class and after that what we need to do is we wanted to find the span tag in that div tag which had a class of the dl type hs magnet link so what this is going to do is it will look for it will, it will look for this tag in the whole source code of this page and it will store it in the uh, this variable so after, uh, as it is a for loop like it will do a, a index by index like with the first div tag and then the uh, span tag inside that first div and after that it will extract the magnet link which is obviously in a, a tag and it is referencing to the magnet link and it will all automatically write it to a text file that i already opened so the for loop is going to continue until there is the last div tag on the page and after that it will write all the magnet links to a file and store it on my computer so let's run it and see it in action so the file is op.py and i am going to run the script it is gonna take some time and after it is done it will give you a simple message that like all the files have been saved to all the magnet links have been saved toward this file dl.txt so if we open dl.txt we can see that it contains all the magnet links that we wanted to download from the website and uh, these were in the api return call so now we can use this to download all the episode in a single go and we don't have to manually click on each episode and do it that way over here you can see that i have commented on commented out line number six over here so what this line is doing is as i already told you in the api call over here like the last uh, parameter next id is defining the page number that you are you want to extract all the links from so if you want to download all all the episodes from like episode 800 to the 800 and what is the latest 848 ep so what you can do is just look for the page look for the page number that is contain containing the episodes from starting from 800 so like over here we can do page number nine okay eight so you can see that episode 800 is starting from page, uh, page number seven so what you can do is over here start a for loop from zero to eight and just define the x over here and it will automatically increment the uh, page number in the next id page and it will download it will grab all the magnet links for ranging from page number seven to page number zero and you don't have to manually download all the episodes so this was it 
i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something about web scraping and how it all works and if you did learn something new do like and comment down below and do subscribe to our channel to to get all the updates related to this uh, and other things and thank you and have a nice day